The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. We are now entering the second week of strikes in both the provinces South Shore and the Valley. More than 700 school staff are still on the picket lines in pursuit of fair wages and wage parity. Earlier this week, the Minister stated that our government fully supports wage parity and fully supports equivalent compensation across the province, equal pay for equal work, and I'll table that. Mr. Speaker, I would like to ask the Minister, if this government fully supports wage parity, then why have they not implemented it? The Honourable Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite for the question. So our educational support staff are incredibly important members of our school teams, and I value and respect the work that they do. They do incredible work in inclusive education, they support administration, and they deliver education to some of our earliest learners. I will be clear, with eight separate education entities, there has never been parity across this sector. We absolutely do support parity, and we're, uh, we understand that that's what the NSGEU is looking for. So for that reason, I'm very heartened to hear that the, uh, the Valley and the NSGEU will be getting back to the table, and I very much look forward to a negotiated resolution, because not only do we value these workers and the incredible work that we do, they do, we also value collective bargaining and respect that process. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I read the act earlier today, and according to the act, the minister is responsible. And that's why there are no boards. So I just want to say, Mr. Speaker, I just want to highlight just how low some of the wages these school workers are being paid. A memorandum of understanding just last month was signed to increase the wages of educational assistants and library support workers to $13.60 per hour. If this hadn't been done, these workers would be earning less than the provincially legislated minimum wage. So, Mr. Speaker, would the minister be able to provide for her family making $13.60 per hour without struggling? How does this minister expect these workers to do the same? The Honourable Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you to the member opposite for the question. So um, the, the, the member opposite would know we, we, I took this role about 14 months ago. I can't speak to why the prior government may have left the system and the pay. Order, please. Excuse me. Order, please. The Honourable Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. They may want to speak with their colleagues in the opposition as to why the situation is the way it is with the pay across the regions. What I can say right now is that our government supports parity. We also value and respect the collective bargaining process. And so for that reason, we are very heartened to hear that the parties are getting back to the table and we look forward to a negotiated resolution that will get our students back into class, get our workers back into, into the schools and support a, a positive resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.